Hey everyone, this video is all about PvP. Maybe you were too scared to try it or heard that PvP in Final Fantasy XIV sucks and so never really bothered with it, but it can actually be quite fun even for casual players. With the Moogle Treasure Trove event going on right now, you can earn tombstones while simultaneously working towards PvP achievements and leveling jobs, so it's a great opportunity to give it a try. Let's start with the basics. In order to unlock PvP, you need to be level 30 and be part of a grand company. You join one around level 20 in the main quest, so this shouldn't be an issue. There will be an NPC in the headquarters of your grand company offering you the quest, the pub no longer. Accept the quest and travel to the wolf's den pier. Also note that free trial players can unfortunately not queue for PvP. When you first arrive there, you will notice that your hotbars are completely messed up. That's because PvP has its own skills, which are separate from PvE. To see them, you need to open the PvP profile from the actions window. Most skills will be familiar, but there are also some exclusive ones. You can also choose two additional skills, similar to how role skills used to work, if you've been playing back then. A neat thing to note is that melee combos are condensed into a single button, so you can save yourself some hot boss space. Currently, there are three different PvP modes available, and I will briefly go over all of them. Note that in PvP, gear does not matter at all. Everyone has the same stats, which are tied to their jobs. Initially, you will only have a single game mode unlocked, called the Feast. This mode pits two teams of four players each against each other. The party setups are fixed, so they will always consist of one tank, one healer and two DPS. This is the competitive PvP mode of FF14, similar to arenas in World of Warcraft. There are seasons and leaderboards, and the top performers of each data center receive exclusive rewards that can only be obtained during that single season. There's also a training mode available if you want to test the waters before heading into the real thing. The fights happen in a rectangular arena and your objective is to collect 600 points for your team. Each player starts with 100 coins and drops half of them when they die. These coins need to be collected by a player, however the more coins a player has, the more damage they take, so you need to be strategic on who to attack and deciding who will pick up the coins afterwards. The feast can be quite chaotic and overwhelming at first, but once you get into it and coordinate with your team, it can be really satisfying to pull off great burst combos. To unlock frontlines, you will have to complete the quest like civilized men and women in your grand company headquarters. Frontlines are large-scale battles of three teams with 24 players each, so 72 players in total. You will have to battle for objectives and gain resources for your team. The team that has collected a certain amount of resources first wins. This mode is similar to Battlegrounds in World of Warcraft, but with three teams instead of two. Each map has its own flavor and requires you to do different things in order to come out ahead. There's one more PvP mode available, and it's called Rival Wings. To unlock it, you need to complete the quest Earning Your Wings in the Wolf's Den Pier. Currently, there's only one map available, which is called Hidden Gorge. There are two teams with 24 players each battling over several objectives. Rival Wings features mechanics similar to MOBAs, for example lanes, minions and towers. You can also gather Ceruleum and build powerful mechs with different abilities. This is by far my favorite mode and I would highly recommend checking it out. So, what do you actually get for PvPing? What are the rewards? For each PvP match, you'll earn a certain amount of wolf marks, depending on whether you won or lost. Wolf marks are a special currency that can only be obtained through PvP activities. You can spend this currency on glamour gear or collectibles like minions, mounts and emotes.
Simultaneously, there are several PvP achievements that will reward you with plenty of goodies like titles and mounts. You are also rewarded with experience points for the job you queued with. And as I mentioned earlier, there are exclusive seasonal rewards for the top feast players, though the system might change with Endwalker. If this video piqued your interest in PvP, I would highly recommend joining the PvP Revival Discord. They have lots of guides and information centered around PvP and regularly host tournaments and events. If you want to do PvP, that's definitely the place to be. Also let us know if you want to see more PvP guides focusing on the specific game modes or gameplay concepts in general. Join our Discord to be part of the amazing community there and if you'd like to see us PvPing first hand, check out Knight's Twitch channel. She regularly streams our Rival Wings adventures and more there, so give her a follow and say hi. As always, I'd like to thank our patrons for supporting our infographics and videos. You motivate us to keep going and we really appreciate each and every one of you.